Christian older age men to stage the terror attacks and then use that to take our rights. No! Deport her! Deport her! Your crap, and we're not doing it. The Alliance of Islam and the liberals is when I came out of the gates against Islam. I was against the wars to stir it up and put radicals in charge because I knew it was part of a class of civilizations. But we failed to stop that. And now I will not be overrun by this. I will not submit to you. And it's not going to happen. And we've broken the back of political correctness. You're not intimidating us anymore. You're not making us submit anymore. We're going to exercise our free speech. Even if you come up to me and get in my face in restaurants. I love it! Now... Here's another one. Linda Sarsour addressing the 54th annual ISNA convention. We must not assimilate. We know Muslims never assimilate. You make us assimilate. We got it. Thank you for being truthful, witch. Here is the witch. You will be responsible for normalizing this administration. Our number one and top priority is to protect and defend our community. It is not to assimilate and to please any other That's right. people in authority. You want to bully everybody. We got it. Our obligation is to our young people, is to our women, and make sure our, our women are protected in our community. Oh, your women are protected. Yeah, speak about the also ran for Democratic County Committee member, which is a voluntary position that really is just for your block. It's for like a few thousand people. She came third out of three in a predominantly Islamic neighborhood. Even her neighbors fucking hate her. And they're all Muslims. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Linda Sarsour, you've got to admire their tenacity. It takes some lungs to do that. I was head chorister at, uh, at my school, and that's not easy to keep it up. So a round of applause for the protesters, without whom I would be nothing. Um, at the end of the day, Linda is just another idiot, wittingly or unwittingly doing the work of Saudi Arabia, doing the work of Iran, doing the work of ISIS. And the enemy that you as Americans have always faced and will always face is from within. It's from other Americans allowing this stuff, pandering to it, prioritizing it, giving it platforms. Now, I don't want her banned, but I do want her exposed. And that's what I hope today will accomplish. If I can add anything today, it's to remind you that as ever, the greatest threats to American liberty don't come from overseas. They come from places like New York. Don't ban her, but hold her to account. Make her debate. Make her defend her hateful and odious positions. And always support free speech, free expression, free intellectual inquiry, creativity, and love, joy, and all of those wonderful things that unite the libertarian and conservative movements. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Jew-hating, ticking time bomb of progressive horror. We agree on that. Now I'll call her Linda because her surname, Sarsour, did you know this? It means cockroach in Arabic. And I do so hate to be disrespectful. So we'll call her Linda. Yes, I'm back and just as much of a waspish cunt as ever. This week, this week another Muslim loser a friend of this week another muslim loser a friend of linda's probably strapped a bomb to his chest in manchester and murdered over 20 people including children does linda sarsour in her dark heart approve of this senseless atrocity if she feels any remorse at all maybe it's for the muslim grooming gangs and pakistani child rapists who have 20 fewer victims this week what Manchester has done is once again raise the stakes. It's now more important than ever to fight Islam in America, and particularly its emissaries like Linda Sarsour. Now, Linda came out of nowhere. I first heard about her in that stupid women's march. To just give you a demonstration of how stupid modern third-wave American feminists are, they're prepared to follow a woman who believes in Sharia law, while at the same time complaining about patriarchy. It is genuinely ludicrous. 
Now, for some reason, leftists love putting hijab-wearing women in front of things to remind us how tolerant, progressive, and feminist Islam is. Give me a break. Islam views Western progressives with the same contempt the Soviet Union reserved for the useful idiots of the American communist left. It's a relationship as abusive as Chris Brown and Rihanna's, except no one in it is hot. <laughs> Claiming Islam is worthy of progressive protection is insane. The hijab is not a symbol of female liberation, as USA Today and the rest of your media likes to claim. But Linda is special. She's more than just an oppressive headscarf. Lurking underneath all of that sweaty polyester is a mind that hates America and loves Sharia law. Her greatest crime, in my view, is her treatment of the heroic female, genita female genital mutilation victim and Islam critic, Ayan Hirsi Ali. Linda said that, I wish I could take her vagina away. She doesn't deserve to be a woman. In other words, Linda's just like the men who actually did take Ayan's vagina away. This is your leader of the modern democratic feminist women's movement, America, setting out to finish the job that depraved misogynistic Muslims in Somalia started. And if you want to know what Sharia looks like in America, consider what happened in Minnesota this week, which has the largest Somali population in the world outside of Somalia itself. A bill to make female genital mutilation a felony failed thanks to the work of the local Muslim population. This is the world. This is the world that Linda Sassour wants for you. This is the world that she is heralding in. Sharia in the United States. One in which girls have no legal protection from having their genitals sliced off. And progressives have the fucking gall to say that I'm the misogynist for cracking a few fat jokes. To paraphrase one of the great philosophers of the 21st century, Regina George from Mean Girls, stop trying to make Sharia happen, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Linda cares about women so much, she works to discredit and silence a film called Honor Diaries, which is about the honor killings and violence against women that happen in the Muslim world. Muslim leaders would prefer if we all pretended that honor violence doesn't exist. It's a sort of inconvenient truth to those trying to convince the Western world that Sharia is the new feminism. Well, Linda is obsessed with convincing American women that they're better off in Saudi Arabia. Well, the good news is Saudi Arabia is not on Trump's ban list, so you can come and go as you please. Try it and see which one you like best. If she can't bring people to Saudi, Linda wants to bring Saudi to America. Frankly, I'm amazed her husband lets her out of the house often enough to speak, as she does, but I guess the rules are different for progressive elites. You see, it wasn't Saudi Arabia, it wasn't Saudi Arabia that Ariana Grande retreated to for safety after a bomb went off at her concert. It was, of course, the United States of America, the greatest country in the history of human civilization. The country that Ariana Grande said she hated. I hate Americans, I hate America, and she licked a donut. Thank you, Milo, you're amazing! Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Sue. The World Economic Forum, which is not a conservative organization, ranks countries by gender gap. Now, this isn't the bogus gender wage gap. It's not the wage gap that, that progressives have invented, pretending that women earn less than men when they don't. This is a real gender gap. And it's a gap in education and in healthcare and other critical economic factors. Now, if you believe Linda, Saudi Arabia is the best country. I was born in the like Linda Sarsour wearing her hijab to run around and be made the face of feminism in America because it's anti-West, anti-American, just like the Atlantic Monthly said last week, because it'll help set the sun on white America and Christianity. It's embraced. But you don't see the maniac mentally ill leftists going to the Middle East to imbibe in this. You don't see Linda Sarsour doing that. No, she comes here to henpeck and get in our face and make us submit to her. And USA Today says the hijab is the new face of Islam and or the new face of 
the new face of feminism, and it's led by Linda Sorsur. So here she is saying going after Trump is a form of holy war or jihad. Here it is. And I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. We have to stay outraged. Do not criticize me when I say that we as a Muslim community in these United States of America have to be perpetually outraged every single day. When I wake up in the morning and I remember who's sitting in the White House, I am outraged. That's right. This is not you perpetually have a chip on your shoulder. You don't want to live in Saudi Arabia.